Hide your ovaries, because this guy likes eggs. Not this guy, don't worry, your ovaries are safe from me. But this guy likes eggs. And I'm praying to God that my editor put the right guy on the green screen and we haven't just accused some other person of being after your ovaries, because that would be defamation of character, maybe. That man is Eddie Abu, ex-pro bodybuilder. You can kind of tell, because he's just absolutely ripped. And now he's a gym owner and he makes shorts on TikTok and Instagram. He has 1.6 million followers on Instagram and 1 million followers on TikTok. This guy is huge. He's blowing up in the UK right now because he has kind of an unorthodox way of sort of looking after our health. I wanted to kick the video off with his catchphrase because it's really funny, but unfortunately you can't swear in the like first minute of a YouTube video, so you, you're gonna have to wait for that. Eddie Abu's whole thing is that he wants us to stop eating processed foods, stop eating all that crap, and eat plain, natural, whole foods, like eggs, hence why he loves eggs. And he's got a bit of a mixed response online, but honestly, his videos are <laughs> really funny. I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. My personal favorite is when he goes into a store with a <laughs> one of those like mics like this and he'll just He's got someone filming him and he's he just do doesn't give a shit He's just walking down the aisles going this is shit. Wake the fuck up. While someone is there <laughs> picking up their groceries They're grabbing like a bowl of cereal. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> this is shit. I'm just, it feels a bit targeted because I'm sort of bending down, picking up the Cocoa Pops right now. This will fucking kill you! <laughs> They're my personal favourites. First of all, I feel like I need to prove to you that this guy loves eggs because you can't just make a claim about someone like that without backing it up. My one meal today is eggs, salmon, sardines and tomato sauce from Pro Prep Meals. There's six eggs on that plate. Another one meal a day. I'm eating one meal a day this week and today is eight eggs. Three days later and he's like... I need more eggs. We had six eggs in the last meal, time for eight. If you want to see me do a YouTube video where uh, I'm locked in a car with Eddie Abu after he's had eight eggs <laughs> and we're not allowed to roll the windows down, drop a like right now and drop that in the comments. We'll make it happen. His bowels are going to be blowing sweet fairy kisses all over the car. Fart city. Here's a combination of me proving that this guy loves eggs and one of those real life supermarket videos that I love so much and they've just made love in this video. People in the fitness industry buy this shit here. That's a fucking destroyed food. Even if you want to eat egg whites, get the egg white and break it yourself. This is egg white that's been heated up, pasteurized. Guys, wake the fuck up. There it is, there's a saying. <laughs> wake the fuck up. Some guy's just like a meter away picking up egg whites like, how much of these am I get? <laughs> wake the fuck up. Oh, maybe I should put these back actually. I wasn't gonna get them anyway. So. <laughs> there's the other saying. There's the other catchphrase. This is shit. Eat the whole egg. All the nutrients are here, guys. Wake the fuck up. Catchphrase again. God, I love it. I need a catchphrase in the flesh. That's gonna be my catchphrase. That's my catchphrase. As soon as I, I'll start a video off with just, guys, I'm here in the flesh. Or if someone says, oh, where's, where's Isaac? Where's he gone? In the flesh. Oh, guys, wh where the hell is Isaac? He's the life of the party. Where the hell is he? In the flesh. Guys, the only way to save me from this situation is to like the video right now and subscribe and to comment down below to get battling of the week next week because that is the only way to save me. Because I'm in the ocean right now, I think, if Cal put me in the ocean. I hope he did, otherwise, otherwise what am I paying him for? <laughs> Joking, I don't pay him. I don't pay him one bit. So this guy's overall message is, uh, it's a good one. He, he wants us to stop eating processed foods, which is good. He is looking out for us, but he does it in a way that uh, people don't receive it well. Some people love tough love, some people hate tough love. He'll say stuff like, stop listening to the dumb brigade and wake the fuck up. That works with some people and they're like, you know what, you're right. I've been telling myself I need to stop eating processed foods, now I'm gonna do it. Other people are like, I don't want to. Now that you're telling me to do that, I don't wanna do it. It's kinda like if you're about to do a chore, like you're about to do the dishes and your mum walks in and she goes, um, oh, can you do the dishes, please? And you're like, uh, you know what, I was gonna do the dishes, but now I don't fancy it because you've told me to do it. I was gonna do it anyway for your information, AKA FYI, what the WTF. I feel like the people who don't like Eddie Abu is probably because they know he's right in the back of their heads. They know, yeah, I shouldn't really be eating this and I do wanna stop eating this stuff, but I don't want you to tell me that, uh, which is understandable, you know? You don't have to like everyone, uh, but you do have to like me. Uh, but prove, prove that by liking all over the button down there. Not, oh, that sounds so fucked up. I meant the like button, anyway. Let me show you some of the videos that really blew Eddie Abu up. We sort of started all the controversy around him because he had a small community of people who watched him to begin with, agreed with everything he was saying, 
because uh, he was really against people's people in the industry who are like, drink this sugar-free pre-workout or have this protein supplement, use my code. He's really against those people because he's like, they're just telling you to eat shit and it's gonna kill you. Uh, so he had a small community of people like, yes, go on, Eddie, speak up against these people, talk the truth. And then once the masses found his videos and he started getting like, you know, millions of views on each video, there was a lot of people like, this is actually really unhealthy because there's nothing wrong with me having a treat. Guys, I'm a sweet treat goblin. There's nothing I love more than a sweet treat and curling up like a fetus at the end of the night because that's how I sleep. And saying in the flesh because that's my new catchphrase. But there's nothing wrong with a guy saying stop eating sweet treats because what you can do is actually ignore it. And that's what I do. So you don't have to get offended and comment something. Uh, I've been watching his videos. Guess what, guys? I had seven donuts last night. Yeah, you can take these videos how you want to take them. What I want to show you is the videos that he blew him up. So let's go. And I don't mean blew him up as in killed him because he's still alive. I mean blew him up as in made him viral. And I don't mean viral as in virus. I mean viral. This is one of my favorite videos ever. All right, okay, this is before Pancake Day. <laughs> I was just about to explain what Pancake Day is, but I don't think I need to actually. <laughs> he's gone into M&S, which is like a, uh, it's an expensive supermarket here in the UK. Fun fact, I worked there before I did this. Ka-chow. Proof. Or did I just murder Isaac from m and steal his name? And now I'm posing as him. He told me. Oh shit, I forgot about Pancake Day. Look at it. It says, on your max, get sick, die, wake the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> This video blew up. It's so funny. The die at the end is hilarious. Basically, On Your Marks gets that flip or something like that for pancakes and Marks and Spencers, so Marks, you see? Uh, it's very clever. <laughs> on Your Marks, get sick, die. What the fuck up? Yeah, the best part is there's probably just a small queue of people behind him. Right in the front, he's like, sorry, yeah, sorry, can I just sneak, I'll just be one second, I've just got to film this, can you not step in front of me? There's, you know, a few kids behind him, a couple of families just waiting to grab some pancake stuff. Oh, look at this, it's pancake day, I almost forgot. On your marks, get sick, die, wake the fuck up. Go ahead, guys, go ahead, fill your boots. <laughs> The comments are pretty funny. Some people are like, Hey Eddie, I had a Kinder Bueno for breakfast. How long do I have left to live? The die threw me off. The die threw me off as well. I don't think the die threw anyone on. Eddie, please let us live. A lot of people are like, Eddie, can we just can we just eat what a sweet treat from time to time without you coming? You're gonna die. <laughs> it's a bit dramatic, um, which is true, you know, but at the same time, he can drive home this message all he wants. And you, it's up to us whether we listen or not. He is looking out for us, but at the same time, everyone has free will, so do what you want. I just imagine Eddie is like an uncle who turns up at the family barbecue. You're all just, <laughs> he's there eating eggs. We're tucking into our burgers. <laughs> and you just hear him. Wake the fuck up. This is shit. You're all gonna fucking die. <laughs> We're like, Eddie, shut up, man. Here's another video that blew him up. Five million views. It's crazy. Anytime you get like that amount of views, like your video goes viral, uh, you're always gonna have split of opinions. Half enough, half shit, and half shit. Guys, wake the fuck up. Bake your own bread or get your bread from the fucking bakery. This is not fucking food. Look at the fucking ingredients. Bread supposed to have four ingredients in it. Water, salt, yeast, flour. This is fucking shit. Wake up. <laughs> it's just so funny. Half and half, half shit, half shit. You're gonna fucking die. I love, I just love how dramatic he is. That's the best way to put it. The reason I love these supermarket videos so much is because you've got people walking around in the background just inches away from buying the very thing he's just talking about. You see this old lady in the back just weirding past thinking, I need to pick up some bread. Then you come across Eddie Abu. Half shit, half shit. Bake your own fucking bread. Or go to the fucking bakery. So she's like, Okay, just keep, <laughs> we'll just keep going. I started laying my own eggs, thanks Eddie. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea, actually. But a majority of his videos are him sat in a chair, speaking his knowledge from his experience, and he's just teaching us stuff, uh, like this video here. Three ways to boost muscle growth. Eat more eggs. Surprise that eat more eggs <laughs> is number one. Uh, but he does go into more depth in this video on why he loves eggs so much. So it gives you a little backstory to his um, egg addiction. 48% of the egg can become tissue. When you eat protein, Powders, whey protein, it's about 16, 17%. Animal protein is better for you, especially eggs. Apart from breast milk, it's the best protein on the planet. And then dude speaks about breast milk. Just soft launches his uh, breast milk ad addiction as well. He doesn't go too much into depth on that. 
in the rest of his videos, but um, <laughs> we get a little hint that he loves breast milk. Now, I don't even drink breast milk anymore either, either because it make because it makes me feel a bit sicky and a burpy. God. I planned saying that in the shower when I was thinking about uh, this video. I wish I didn't. Breast milk probably is the best milk for us because it comes from a human teat, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna be crawling up to my mama anytime soon asking for another go on the teat. I stopped that literally last week. I'm a week sober, so I'm not going back for that. Plus it makes me bloated anyway, because I just fill myself up on milk. I engorge myself even. Another form of controversy just comes from the fact that he uh, goes after a lot of people online as well, like specific people in the industry because he doesn't agree with what they're saying, which is fine, no, no problem with a little bit of back and forth. But if you go for the wrong person, then you've got to deal with their fan base. That's a whole, th that's a whole other thing. And you, if they got a big fan base, you're probably gonna lose. And so you end up uh, having this divide of people that like you, people that don't like you. For instance, <laughs> Greg Doucette, another ex-pro bodybuilder, I believe, very popular guy, people love him. He called me a twat and disrespected Sam Sulek. Sam Sulek, that's an example of a guy who has a huge audience. People love Sam Sulek, so you wouldn't want to go after Sam Sulek because you'll probably not end up in a good position. I'm going to be responding to Ebi Abu, who called me out, called me every name in the book, cursed and swears, really, in fact, put me down. Some other Cook. imbecile has made a video about me. Some twat called Greg Doucette. One thing you need to know about this guy is he was in fact an advanced level bodybuilder, an IAB bro. Damn, look at Eddie, man. Looking like a whole rotisserie chicken in a good way. Dude was ripped. And he is open about the fact that he used steroids and he does tell people never use steroids. Eddie Abu has gone after a couple of people. Um, although it sounds like Greg Doucette made the video first, so shouldn't have woken the beast. He eats a lot of eggs, so he's got a lot of <sighs> about him, you know? It's all that yolk. I personally know I eat, I eat too much crap and I know I need to stop. And when I see Eddie Abu's videos, I actually think, yeah, he's right, I should stop. I don't get annoyed about it. Some people do. I guess maybe it's because he'll he'll say certain things, he'll pull up certain stats and people are like, that's not even true. I think what you got to look at with Eddie is his overall message. And his overall message is stop eating processed foods. Big corporations are making foods with cheap ingredients on purpose, which of course they will. They're a business. They want to make the most money. So your health is not in their best interests. They put a lot of shit into the uh, food. The ingredients lists are gross, really. You should eat natural food and you'll feel better because food can be medicine. That's his own overall message, which is true. It's more us versus the big corporations rather than Eddie Abu versus you telling you you're in the wrong. It's just tough love. That's what it is. It's tough love, okay? When I usually criticize my videos, they always say, Eddie, you're going to create um, food anxiety with people. Stop demonizing food. This is not fucking food. <laughs> Cuts to the end and I'm just there picking up a Fanta. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that anyway. This is shit, isn't it? This is fucking shit. Wake the fuck up. I was actually even making my own video on this stuff. This is fucking shit. Don't fucking pick this up. I genuinely think if I was in the supermarket picking something up he was um, chatting shit about, I'd put it straight back because I, <laughs> I would be like, yeah, this is shit. Can't stand sweet treats, what the hell? The food anxiety thing is probably a, a big reason why people disagree with these videos, uh, which is fair. People can develop really bad relationships with food. The truth is that's not Eddie's aim. Eddie's Eddie doesn't want anyone to get food anxiety. Like I said, he has another unorthodox way of doing it. If his videos do give you food anxiety or make you worry or anything like that, don't, don't. <laughs> that fixes it, don't. No, what I'm saying is, in moderation, things aren't gonna kill you, okay? There's stories of people who even, even smoke like a, a pack of cigarettes a day and they live to 103. It's really down to chance on how long you live. You can't control it that much. And even there's studies that come out saying if you eat bacon every day for your life, you might take a year off your life expectancy or two years or whatever. They're gonna be the shit years anyway when you're old and probably in hospital. One in two of us get cancer now. And so as much as you try and control your health with food and stuff, as long as you just eat relatively okay, you'll be fine. Just enjoy your life, that's the main thing. Uh, you're not really killing yourself by drinking a Diet Coke. You know, don't beat yourself up about things like that. So yeah, don't control your life too much. Eat what you wanna eat, really. Um, and if you wanna eat better, just do whatever you want, okay? No one does say, Eddie, you're trying to live forever. Listen, I'm not trying to add years to my life. I'm trying to add life to my ears. I was a nurse. And I saw diseases, I saw people ill, medication and pain, and all because of eating crap like this. Listen, I'm not saying never eat this. I'm saying that this is not the kind of shit you eat every single day. 
once in a fucking blue moon. The people who make this, they don't want you to do that. They want you to do that every fucking day. That's why they make it colorful shit. Guys, wake the fuck up. I'm trying to help. I did not know the video was gonna end like that. That actually perfectly sums up the video and sort of sums up what I was saying as well. So I have a feeling he knew that. Eddie is trying to help. He's not saying never eat this stuff. He's saying once in a blue moon. If you want to enjoy your life without illness, that's his message. Whether you love him or hate him, he is so entertaining. I think the most important thing in life is to enjoy it. So do what you enjoy. And if that is eating a sweet treat, eat sweet treat. Thank you for watching another video. Uh, that was Eddie Abu. Uh, go check him out, follow his accounts. He also has a YouTube channel. You can go subscribe to his YouTube channel. If you want to see more of me in the description, there's links to stuff like Snapchat. I post stories on Snapchat every single day. Instagram, TikTok. There's podcast channel I started and a second YouTube channel. I might do some like vlogs and random shit on that uh, channel. Uh, the podcast channels stuff will be up on there soon. I promise. I'm sorry. I don't think I've got anything else to say. So just like, subscribe, uh, share this to your family group chat. And um, I'll see you through your window in a few minutes. Just keep an eye out. Thank <laughs> you.